Welcome or welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're going to be using our launch X431 2.0 to program a key on a HRV. So this scan tool is specific for Hondas and Acura. So uh, we do have a physical key, which this video will be for. If you have a key fob on a different type of Honda or Acura, then it'll be a little bit different process. But this uh that'll be for a different video so as we can see when we start our scan tool it does auto scan i like to back out of that and hit exit it just seems to take a little bit longer so i go into diagnose and that auto scan also doesn't work for every vehicle so we're gonna go into honda here now we're gonna hit okay make sure our ignition is on at this time And we're just adding one key today. So we're gonna choose a 16 pin DLC. We are in USA, USA vehicle. We have a HRV. Now we're gonna go into service function. We're gonna scroll up until we see immobilizer keys programming. And this is kind of the same procedure also for the uh, 1.0. So the one that is a vertical, not horizontal like this. Basically the same procedure. You could apply to either one. So a mobilizer. Telling us what type of mobilizer it has. Hit OK. Mobilizer setup. Hit OK. So here you have all this all these different choices to choose from. So um, you could choose replace immobilizer, replace ECM, PCM, um, you know, multiplex, whatever. We have a, a key that we're gonna be programming. So we're going to go here. If you want any of these, I will try to have a video on those as well in the future. So make sure you drop a comment down below. If that's something you're interested in seeing. So here we could either do rewrite all keys. This is beneficial to if you lost or somebody stole one of your keys and you wanna just rewrite the programming on the, the keys you still have. Or if you lost all keys, you would go to here. Since we're adding one key, we're just gonna go up here. All right, now we're gonna follow the prompts here. Key off. Key on with an original key. Communicating. Turn the key off. Now we're going to grab our new key and turn on ignition with that. So that is our new key. Now we are going to turn off with an, that parameter. Now without switching a key, you turn it back on, key back off. It's kind of a lengthy process, but just follow all the prompts, key back on and you'll be fine. So now it's asking us, did the immobilizer indicator go off? And yes, it did. I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. Goes by quick. That little key right there. If the key was, uh, wasn't was programmed, it'd be flashing still. So that tells us that we are good here and the indicator is off. Turn the key back off. Now it's gonna ask us to turn the ignition back on with the original key. Now, everything has been programmed. Registration is completed. Key back off. Hit OK. Now we're gonna check, make sure all the keys start. So we have key number one here. This is the original key. And the vehicle is running. Turn that off. Key number two. And the vehicle is running. All right, now it says um, turn the ignition on, which we have a running already, and we are done. Another thing I like to do is make sure the locks are working. So I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but they are cycling and check both keys. And we are good here. So once again, this is the video for um, you know a physical key. If you uh, wanna see a, a key fob or any other videos, make sure you drop a comment down below and I'll try to get to each and every one of those videos. With that being said, I'll catch everyone on the next one.